I am grilling for the boys, and I'm gonna show you several different marinades to make people love you. The first choice of me is gonna be some beautiful short rib. These are cut Korean style, and as you can see, the bones are running vertically like this, but they're all super marbled, and the flavor here is immaculate. In a saucepan, we're gonna start melting down some brown sugar, and because I'm making a lot, I'm gonna get really generous. Keep in mind, throughout this whole process, I'm gonna keep the pan on a medium low. I just want everything to melt down together, but I'm not trying to cook this. To this, I'm gonna get generous with some Worcestershire sauce. This mixture gets some beautiful soy sauce. As it comes together, introduce some sriracha, and if it wasn't sweet enough, we're gonna go in with a little honey. So at the moment, this mixture is nice and warm. I don't wanna toss a hot mixture on cold meat and then marinate it. So what I like to do is toss in a couple ice cubes. And if this thins out, that's totally fine. The marinade doesn't have to be thick. It's gonna stick on the short ribs beautifully. Another thing that I really like to do to make sure everything is perfect is I don't season the marinade. I like to season the meat directly, so I apply the perfect amount. These are gonna get a very light sprinkle of salt just because we have a lot of soy sauce. We introduce a little bit of chili powder. I like to do chipotle chili powder because it has a very nice smoky flavor. We do smoked paprika. And then we finish with a whole lot of garlic powder. Because I'm cooking for a lot of people, I get super aggressive on one side. I toss on the marinade and mix everything together. That way I don't have to be perfect and flip every single one and season again. Our cold mixture joined to the party. I actually am gonna recommend to put on some gloves before you mix it, just because it is nice and sticky. The short rib already soaked up all that beautiful sticky marinade, and you let these sit for at least a couple hours in the fridge, and I am telling you, you'll love me forever. I know I always say marinate until you lose patience, but I do really recommend giving them some time to love each other. This next marinade will make any piece of chicken blow you away. Breast, thighs, you name it, whatever you wanna use, it is just simply fantastic. We're gonna be mixing the marinade first, just so everything is equally distributed. We're gonna introduce a little bit of yogurt. To this, we're gonna add a little bit of tomato paste, a generous serving of good olive oil. If you have access to a Middle Eastern store, you should buy something called shatta. It's a hot pepper paste, and I like to introduce just a little bit. It gives it a nice little kick. To this, we're gonna press in some fresh heartburn, and then for a little sweetness, we're gonna go in with some honey. Oh, that's so much honey. Too much honey. And then finally to finish, we're gonna go in with a whole lot of lemon juice. Now again, I'm gonna season the thighs directly with some salt. And honestly, we don't need anything else like garlic or chili powder because we have fresh garlic and all that hot pepper paste. There's so much flavor already in this marinade. Now this is just my sample portion of chicken. I'm gonna go in with the marinade. I have a lot more chicken coming on the way, but that's why the marinade looks like so much. Just look at that beautiful color. Again, the whole point of this video is to introduce marinades to marinate. Yes, you can cook these right away, but I would recommend four to 24 hours if you can. And by the way, this smells amazing. This last marinade is gonna be on one of my favorite things that I put on a grill, some beef bacon. This comes from beef belly, and when I say beef, that means cow. It comes from a cow. Anyways, clearly today's theme is some brown sugar, and again, I'm getting nice and generous. And to this, I'm gonna go have these with some maple syrup. In the meantime, our beef bacon is gonna get some black pepper. Again, we're just gonna cook this until the brown sugar starts to foam like this, and you really wanna make sure that you don't burn it. We're gonna kill the heat and add a little bit more ice, just to cool it down and thin it out. Again, as soon as it cools, we just go in with our beautiful mixture. I'm gonna give them a quick gentle massage, and this is gonna be the best beef bacon of your life. When you toss it on the grill, it's gonna caramelize and it's gonna be addictive when you eat it, I promise. Toss it on a burger, stop playing with me. And there you have it, folks. I hope I showed you three different marinades that are really gonna help elevate your grilling to the next level. Everyone is gonna love you after this. 